Okay, it looks to be spawning in now. Wow. Yeah, this looks... This looks very different. Interesting. What the heck is that? Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Subnautica. In the previous episode, we implemented all the upgrades for CG Mariner here. And I remember Tech Stomper recommending a name, uh, The Clumsy Sleek. <laughs> that sounds really good, although it is quite long. So I'll keep that in mind. Maybe Sleek? I'm having a hard time pronouncing it though. But yeah, The Clumsy Sleek. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> But we'll keep it like this for now and uh, we'll change it up when maybe my tongue gets a bit used to it. Anyway, uh, I didn't want to do that actually. Let me go back here. Go back inside this. Oh, I can't. I have to go out. And then, there. Alright. So what I actually also noticed is, well, if you look at this. Pressure compensator, it's now Mark 3. And if I go inside the Seamoth again, I'm not sure if you noticed that. Look at the top corner, at the top of the screen. Depth, 900 meters. If you remember originally, that was just 300. Now I upgraded it once, it became 500, and upgraded it one more time, and it became 900. So that is made possible by this area here. The modification station has some Seamoth upgrades for Mark 2 and Mark 3. Now these aren't really cheap, but it's not that hard to get this anyway. Plasteel ingots, aluminum oxide crystal, and computer chip. The plasteel ingot is made by getting uh, a titanium ingot, which is 10 titaniums, and lithium. But since you had lots of lithiums, and collecting titanium isn't really the hardest thing, you know, just going around and looking for metal salvage, it's not really that hard. So I made that two times. And now we have 900 meters max distance. Now I'm quite scared actually what we can see at 900 meters. I don't think I've ever swam that deep. Um, but we will see. Anyway, for this episode, I wanted to explore that part over there, the large organic mass. So if you remember a couple of episodes past, we did find a lot of signals. So I wanted to explore one of those, or actually all of those, one at a time, and see what we can find. Maybe we'll find something interesting in that. Hopefully not too many baddies, but we will see soon enough, alright? And one thing I noticed more, I actually learned about it, is the electrocution thing, this upgrade that I have in the third slot, I can actually enable it. And then if I left click here, let me turn off the lights for highlight purposes. If I enable it, bam, it's like an EMP, which is perfect because it doesn't use up any ammunition and it just takes up, I don't know, 1% of the energy, which is very cheap. So I'm not sure how strong that is, if that can fend off any of the super aggressive big monsters, but we will see. Hopefully it can. In worst case, we still have our torpedoes, so no need to worry. And if you've noticed as well, we are near the aurora, but there's no radiation. I'm still wearing my still suit and my rebreather. No need for radiation suit anymore since we fixed it and uh, looks like the fix is there already. Very, very cool. I'm hearing some bad guys though. Oh crap. Super scared. Yeah, this is that area with those uh, Reaper Leviathans, I think. I can hear them even, so I'll have to stay tuned and cross your fingers, guys. We'll see soon enough what this is. So I'm near the area, large organic mass, and I found this guy here. And I have no clue what it is. Is this the large organic mass? What? What the heck is that? Ooh, it's coming near us, I think. Has some electrocution things. Doesn't look very friendly, does it? My goodness. 
the creatures here. Looks like an electric eel. Oh, oh crap. Crap, crap, crap. Yep, it bit us. 85% health. Oh my goodness. How can I go outside my sea moth in this place? Anyway, let us explore this area. Large organic mass. What are you guys? Huge mushrooms. Let me see if our electrocution thing can work here. Let's see. Not really. Nope, doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. Man. So we'll need our torpedoes, but we only had three of them. So we'll have to really conserve our ammo and only fight when necessary. My goodness, I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, call me a scaredy pants if you will, but you try going here. Oh, there's another one of those volcanoes in here. Those geysers. Oh, this time it's a real volcano. Even comes with lava. We're down to 55% health, guys, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> We've been... These guys are, have been biting us all over. Oh, crap. I'll need to repair you. Okay, let's start with the small fry first. How about we try killing this guy? By using that electrocution thingy. So let me go near it. Bam! Okay, we hit it, we hit it. It didn't die though. One more time. Bam! Still alive? Man, this electrocution thing sucks. One more time. Okay, it's, it's dead. Now, I'm not sure if it died because I bumped it or if it really just died because I electrocuted it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I did find an egg there though. And I'm going out. This is it. I'm going out. Get the egg. And get inside. No, 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 not storage. Welcome aboard, <laughs> Captain. Okay, we managed that small feat. Now, next step is to go back to those fragments and see how we can get them. Okay, it looks relatively safer now. The baddies seem to have... No, 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 speak of the devil. If there are any bad guys, I'll use my torpedoes. No? Okay. First things first, let's fix our sub. Okay, doing good. And let's go scan these guys up. I see one stasis rifle. Okay, that looks good. We unlocked it, perfect. I see this electric guy nearing us. Stasis rifle again, don't really need it. What? What the heck? We're here anyway. One more. Stasis rifle. No more. No more, no more, no more. <laughs> that is the limit of my braveness. Of my courage. So it looks like this spot only has stasis rifles for us. Hmm. Might be worth it to scan one of these big guys though. The large organic mass. This one. Awesome. Kush Bush. Can I maybe, like, get something? No? Alright. So let's check that out. Uh, I can check out the encyclopedia from here. Why not? <laughs> no, I cannot. Alright, let me go up a bit just to be a bit safer. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll go out. Okay, this looks much safer. So let's see. Kush bush. Uh, alien life forms. Flora. Kush bush. There we go. 
grow in deep sandy environments, hoop fish, and eye eye. Edible in small quantities, high water content. Okay, so I guess we can get something to go back and plant it in the base. Yeah, let's go and get a souvenir. Can I get you? Okay, Kush sample. Guess that's enough. Let me try one last time getting from this big guy. Maybe that's a different Kush. Let's see. Kush sample. Okay, it's the same. Time to go home, guys. Time to go home. <laughs> Be right back. Wow, look at that. What could this guy be? It looks so graceful. It's like a spider? Not really. It looks scary though. What is this? Is this an egg? Hmm, interesting place. Oh, I remember this place. This is where we were bitten by that Reaper Leviathan, right? Yeah. Huge mushroom spots. Lots of bleeders here. Can you guys see that? I'm in for a fight. All of them are still alive. Come on, kill these guys. There we go. All of them are dead. Perfect. Revenge. <laughs> Okay, I'm back at base. Now, in that trip, we did get some interesting things. Well, we got this egg, which I have no clue what it could be. But it looks humongous. So we'll see how that is. And uh, after a short time, it should hatch. Hopefully. And we also got these, decomposing kush sample. So I guess it's kind of... Uh, no, it's kind of uh, spoiling, I guess. So I'm not sure really if we can still plant it, but maybe we can. Okay, so if we can try to plant this switch container. There we go. Pygmy Kush. And where is it? It should be somewhere here, I guess, on this side. But that might be in a bit. So we have that growing. We have this creature egg growing. And we'll see where we go from there. But in the meantime, let me go back out in the wilds and explore another part. Let's see. So I have a lot of signals actually. If we go back to the base here, to the storage. I actually see that my inventory is full of all these signals. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe let's do them one by one. Hmm, okay, maybe we can do that. Heat signature over at that side. It looks to be a different one because the previous heat signature was over on this direction, I believe. So let's go and explore that part there. I'll meet you guys there. Alright, we're nearing the place. I am seeing a lot of those sharks. Those bone sharks, however you call them. Heat signatures, I think, are ruins, right? Or uh, wreckages, probably. Base wreckages, yeah. This is the place. So there is this huge wreckage in here, but what is this exact place? Oh, it's a different one. This heat signature is for this one. Interesting. What could it be? Diamond. Oh, that's a diamond. Just lying around. Cool. Okay. That's awesome. Now, we did find that heat signature. We didn't find anything else in this area. But, we did find this huge wreckage here. And I bet there's something inside. Ah, this one. For sure this one. Alright, let's go here then. Oop. Let's see. Oh, what is this? A bench. Can get 
the blueprint of that so I can craft it in the base. Doesn't really serve much purpose. But I guess it looks cool and all. Open. Okay there, that was a bit suspense. Uh, electricity here. Probably don't want to go near that. Plant pot. Okay. Why not? Also, we can go and plant some stuff. Even outside the aquarium, maybe. That's cool. Can we fix this? No. Alright. Explore more. Hmm. Floodlight. Okay, that one we can also scan. I'm getting a lot of blueprints in here, but nothing really that fancy and useful. But let's see. Let's travel on. This is quite deep, actually. Interesting. This one we need to laser out. Can I get air from this? No. Okay, fine. I do have my laser cutter with me, so that's good. Uh, this one. Okay, there. Oxygen is not doing good though, so I might open this and I might go back to the sea moth for oxygen and we'll be right back. Okay, almost there. Just a few more seconds. We're good. Alright. Now what can we find in here? No signal. Alright. Anything interesting? A bench? Uh, not really. I'm hoping for something cool with all that effort. This one, can you open it? No, not really. Don't tell me there's nothing. Oh, this one. There's another one? No, I can't open this from here. So after all that trouble, what did we get? Eh, we got nothing. <laughs> hmm. Well, I didn't find anything in them. So that kind of sucks. Maybe that part is still a work in progress. There's this cool thing here though. Wow. And these sharks are still all over the place. Crap. Let me just explore this place some more and we'll be back in the base already. Because it's getting too scary for me. You know, I just want to chill. Swimming session. I just got a notice. It says bone shark egg discovered. So I'm assuming our egg back at the aquarium has just hatched. Interesting. We'll see how that looks in a bit. Okay, almost here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. We did incur some damage in there, but let's see first how that bone shark looks like. Where is it? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Let's go and scan it up. It's still, it's still quite small, just a baby bone shark. But what's good about it is this is going to be friendly. I hope. There we go, bone shark entry added. Let's take a look. Although we know it's very dangerous. Let's see, this one. Lives in small packs and fiercely defends its hunting grounds. Thickly armored exoskeleton. Mm-hmm, large eyeballs. Generally slow and res unresponsive. Uncompromising aggression against any threat to their nesting grounds. So it's basically a territorial kind of thing. Oh, and this guy, it's here, the pygmy kush. Looks really cool. <laughs> anyway, let me get some fish here and let's cook them up because I'm starving. Okay, next up, another signal, this time labeled floating island. Not sure if I've been here before, but we will see somewhere on the southwest part maybe we've been here but we didn't know its name 
I'm not sure. But it looks above water. Well, it says floating island, right? <laughs> so I guess it should be. But... Where is it? Okay, it looks to be spawning in now. Wow. Yeah, this looks... This looks very different. Interesting. What the heck is that? Okay, this has really piqued my interest now. There's something there on the top, like an ob observatory of some purpose. Alright, we'll have to explore this. I have to go on foot though, and don't have my repulsor with me. So I'll just have to work with the knife. Fox a shrub. I guess I can spend the entire day just scanning all of these. But I'm not gonna show you that because it'll be too taxing. Yeah, let me go and travel. Let's see if we can find anything. Interesting. This is really interesting. Lantern tree. It looks like we can eat this guy. Let me see. Encyclopedia Flora Edible Staple Ah Roughly the same nutrition and hydration value is a common Okay How big are you? Kind of big But that's good Food in O2 I wonder if we get indigestion if we eat too much of those though That's good Maybe we can plant some Can we get something? No Maybe we can get the fruit itself and plant that. Maybe. I don't know. We can maybe plant that above water. In this one, exterior grow bed. That's cool. So we have like a crop lot blueprint. Just like an arc. And I'm seeing those aggressive spider-like thingies again. This, this. Marm... Some more marble melon. Chinese potato. Marble melon plant. Oh, this is really fruitful. All these signals. There are also some ruins in here. I wonder if we can find anything. If we can even go inside. Not really. Ooh, abandoned PDA. Download data. Let's see what we found. Uh, Degasi? I'm not sure. This one, I guess. Looks like some drama. Some lore, maybe. Interesting. So it looks like someone lived here before, but not sure where they are now. Okay. Now, can we eat any of these that we got? We can, actually. Marble melons and old lantern fruits are very nice. Why Why is my screen shaking? Oh, that's very weird. Okay, let's go up this place. How can we go up there? Look at how far the aurora is from here. Amazing. And I think I've almost reached this spot. Alright, nice. So what can we find here? Everything is abandoned. The plants, for some reason, are still alive, though. Oh, observatory fragment. This is nice. Come on. There we go. Perfect. So I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, just to look, I guess. But that is going to provide a nice addition to the base. And let's check out this abandoned data here. Yeah, there must be some story in there. I'm just too lazy to read it out. <sighs> Don't fall. Don't fall. This is cool, guys. Anyway, I don't think we have any more time left, but this has been an exciting adventure. We've been to many, like, uh, the signals that we've gotten. And uh, this so far, this floating island here, seems to be the most fruitful so far we've learned so many blueprints most of them for plants and uh, cultivation but yeah that's going to be it for this episode if you did like the video 
please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates, alright? In the meantime, that's gonna be it. This is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thanks for watching and have a nice day, guys. Let me just slowly go down here. You know how clumsy I am. <laughs> but yes, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.